Guys, I'm back with another video, and this time we're going to be solving this y double prime plus 4y prime is equal to 16x. We're actually going to be finding the general solution of this by using the method of undetermined coefficients. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our yp. So when you have a first degree polynomial, what you should be doing is uh, setting your yp to the general form of a first degree polynomial. This will give us y prime of p is equal to a, and y double prime p is equal to 0. So we'll then take these and substitute it into this equation right here. So we have 0 plus, <clears throat> excuse me, 4a is equal to 16x. So this doesn't work. And this doesn't work because we have this 16x on the right hand side, but we have no x term to speak of on the left hand side. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take our yp, we're going to set it equal to ax squared plus bx. Subsequently, the derivative of that is 2ax plus b, and y double prime of p is equal to 2, whoops, that was the worst looking 2 I've ever written in my life, 2a. Although, we don't need this first function here. So we're going to plug these back into here like we did before. So let's try that again. So 2a plus uh, 8ax plus 4b is equal to 16x. There we go. So we're dealing with a much nicer equation. We have an x on the left-hand side and an x on the right-hand side. So for x, um, 8 a x is equal to 16 x. So a is equal to 2. Then for the constants, you'll notice that on the right hand side we don't have any constants being added here. So we effectively have a plus 0. So that means that 2 a plus 4 b must be equal to 0. So then we have 4 plus 4 b is equal to 0, b is equal to negative 1. That means we can go back and write that our yp is equal to ax squared, so ax, so a is 2, so 2x squared, and b is minus 1, so that becomes minus x. So we're not quite done because we've only found the characteristic, we have, sorry, the particular, we haven't found the characteristic. But that's actually pretty easy to do. So I'm just going to scroll down right here. So from the, I'm just going to write down the original equation real quick. So y double prime plus 4y prime is equal to 16x. We know that our characteristic is r squared plus 4r is equal to 0. So this gives our values r is equal to 0, negative 4. This means that our yc is equal to c1 plus c2 to the negative 4x. And our y is equal to yc plus yp. And that's equal to, uh, sorry, c1 plus c2 e that should be an e right there, I apologize, negative 4 to the x, plus our yp, which is 2x squared minus x. So that's how you find the solution of a second order non-homogeneous by uh, undetermined coefficients. And remember that if you're dealing with a polynomial, please be sure to check to make sure whichever yp you get will actually work. You may need to increase or decrease the order appropriately. Anyway, thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.